Debbie Guys here for the Not No Ties and All the Seven Deadly Sins, Chapter 196. As long as you're here, and I pretty much like convert, like call it last chapter where I said that this one is gonna be very exposition like where it gets an aftermath of the battle, and that's pretty much what happened. This is a very, I guess, it was very emotional, but it was, yeah, very emotional. Like, not, not, not like a maybe, but no, it was emotional, but also a very like symbol, a simplistic chapter. It, it can be broken apart, be broken part into three parts. It's the Meliodas bond confrontation with Melina Skinner. We got the funeral, and then we got the ending with Meliodas and Elizabeth. Before I get into that kind of stuff, I don't know, I don't know how many of you noticed, but in the front like cover page where we see like 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 Meliodas like with this demon like roar all over him and Elizabeth, we see like the ring, and we see Hauser, and then we see Arthur's cat, and I, that Arthur's cat again is very very weird. I wonder like what he's trying to hint at in that comes in. There's no way he just threw an Arthur's cat random without Arthur, so I don't know what that's about. But anyways, so this chapter we get we see Hawk so we start off, we see Hawk come back, get back to normal self and we that demon and we get to see Hawk so crying, he thinks mama's dead, but then we see Elizabeth and she curse Mama Mama Hawk to life. Thank God, because if Mama Hawk was dead, oh boy, we even had issues. But anyways, probably one of the, my most in like yeah, one of the most interesting part of the chapter is when we see Bond confront Elizabeth and we see Malin and then Escanor comes and talks to Malin and we see where, where Bond's like, Oh Captain, it, it's I'm very surprised but I'm glad to see that he's still kicking the buggy, he's still here with us. Maybe we should grab like something. We see Melodus with a very like concerned face. And then Bad even says like this the way he just did the was not very like you, but let's go have drinks afterwards and you can see Miles is a little bit like he knows that well he, he can tell that Bond like can tell something different. And then after this we can see Miller in the Escort conversation where we see like basically a more explanation on Miller's curse that was given to the by given to him by the Demon King. And pretty much oh, this is it is really sadistic. <laughs> what do you think about it? It's basically because Melodus got like this, all this human feelings and relationship, like like love and care and like kindness from his like relationship with the, the Liz Lon, Liz Reincarnation, Elizabeth, Liz, whoever came before that. And I, the Demon King put upon a course, a course, a curse that every time Melodus would die, he would come back. But every time he come back, the shreds of humanity within him, he would lose little bits, piece and pieces. And I guess that explains like why his demon mark is not directly in the middle like we saw in the flashback five, three thousand years ago but we how it now it was kind of the side now it's a little bit bigger more like kind of still slanted but not in the middle middle so it's it pretty much it's he's taking away his humanity and he's as mother says he's scared to go back to his original self and as we really felt the emotions this chapter where we see meliotis like getting a beer by himself and we see the like who, who else would come but Elizabeth talking to Mel and like this would be the only person that Melodos would have like come clean to and like speak deep down with them and he just he front out tells Elizabeth that he's scared he is terrified he doesn't want to go back like to who he originally was and this is something that makes Melodos like one of the more unique protagonists is that he wasn't isn't that like a demon inside him it's he changed from like a really like sadistic person to become a like more like a human self and have these like, embrace the emotions, and now with like the facts of Demon King and the curse, he he's he's, he's terrified. He even say that he couldn't tell Bond's expression what he was thinking about. That terrifying because he's supposed to be like best friends with Bond, and that really like I don't know. It's a very similar chapter. Like not much happened. I didn't, I didn't expect much to happen in this chapter because the expedition, as I said before, is just we're not we're cooling down. We did see that's gonna come back. We see Merlin. She's twirling Grey Learner too, but back to Meliodas and, and he states that like I live through life to protect you and I don't want my demonic self like, he said he's a demonic self, but he, he implies he doesn't want his demonic self to harm like to go out of control opposite Elizabeth. And was like, save me. Melodis like she just explains that like I'll always be here with you. And she just embraces Melodin and Hug and it's like it's a very nice touching moment. And we can really sense Melody's struggle. And it is going to be some... I don't know what's going to happen. I honestly don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if if we're going to get, like, Meliodas 
not be able to control himself because we did have the arc the druid's arc where they train him was able to control like they train him to control his rage but this is not more like the rage this is more like his demonic self going back so like I, i'm wondering if tech is if, if um Meliodas is gonna be able to regain those emotions or is he gonna stay put again and maybe he seems really close to his old himself it's like really really close and i wouldn't be surprised if he would die again and then he comes back completed reverted back to original self and that would be something i would really honestly kind of like i wouldn't be i'll be happy if it takes that path because then it'll put like meliodas in a struggle with himself struggle and the, the, the sins to struggle with anyways i don't probably talk about yeah it's the funeral but we see hansel dead we see i don't remember, I don't remember Jericho like, better dying at all. I, don't, I honestly, I gotta look back now, but I don't remember him dying. But kind of he dead, and we see like Jericho raging at Denzel and Henderson's like, "Oh, yeah, you all, how could you guys like still be alive? I'm probably dead." And and I don't know. Bond's really going for the Jericho. I, I really feel the shipping with Jericho and Bond. Though I will always ship Bond and Ellie. Like, very very ship. I love those two. Love those two. But I would be okay with Bond and Jericho. I think it'd be, it'd be nice. But anyways. We'll see you next week for 197. We were really close to chapter 200. So I'm really excited. I expect that Nakama is going to feel some very, very big at uh, uh, chapter 200. I have been reviewing this for almost 40 chapters now. Almost a year. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Anyways, I'll see you for 197. Tell answers.